It's one of the most hyped up Viking theme shows, which some claim is even better than the Game of Thrones. The Last Kingdom came to an end, and right when we felt like life didn't have any purpose anymore, Netflix announced a sequel movie is in production. Yup, you heard that right. To find out more, stay tuned and keep watching. First up, apparently there's a theory about the movie. Fans can't wait to see Uhtred, our very hot Alexander Draymond, make a comeback in the Netflix adaptation of The Last Kingdom, Seven Kings Must Die. Some of the characters Characters from the first season will make a final appearance in the historical drama as well, which will put the warrior's journey to a conclusion, hopefully a better conclusion than whatever the heck Game of Thrones gave us. Anyways, what's more intriguing and has the fans restless is that there's a possibility that his daughter Steora, who lost her husband Sigatrigger, is carrying his children. Yep, our badass female lead may be pregnant. Next up, is Steora really pregnant? In the fifth season of The Last Kingdom, we saw Steora go through a lot as Brita tormented her to reach Uhtred. After a long, gruesome fight, she raised her kingdom and massacred her population before losing her husband Sigtrigger. The loss of Sigtrigger never truly left Steora. Not a surprise, honestly. We wouldn't have gotten over it either. Well, it burdened her for the remainder of the season. She was conflicted over whether to support her father or defend the only people she thought she could trust. Sigtrigger's passing affected all the decisions she made. One possible theory about how the movie will pace might be Steora's reaction to losing her husband husband and her dealing with that loss. As England's now under Jorvik's rule, she could go to considerable lengths to take it back. Uhtred may choose to assist her, but he already has a lot on his plate trying to keep Bedmansburg safe. In one of Bernard Cornwall's books, Steoria experiences a pregnancy with Sigtrigger's offspring. The couple had only recently gotten married and no children at the time of season 5. Is it too late for Sierra to carry on Sigtrigger's bloodline now that he's passed away? We wonder if the writers of the movie will carry on the book's theme or not. In the book, Steori is pregnant with Gisela Sigtrigger's daughter, who unfortunately dies later on due to the plague. So there's a high chance Steora might have been pregnant at the moment and was merely unaware of it, but soon her symptoms will definitely start showing unless she has some superpowers to conceal that bump. Moving on, is Steora really unaware of her pregnancy? Being pregnant would be the last thing on Steora's mind though. Imagine losing your husband and then being occupied with Brita and worrying about losing your kingdom. She might begin to notice some alterations to her body that she has never seen before Brita's death, but as of now, we don't think Steora has any idea of about her pregnancy, she would have been overjoyed if she were to have a child, since it would be the final piece of her husband that she could keep and maybe it'll help her move on too, but it's not all rainbows. And unicorns, it's just added to things that she'll have to worry about, because now she has a newborn and her own future to protect, we're really eager to see where they go with this. Following up, is she going to use her pregnancy to lure Uhtred in? First, we don't know how big of a time leap the movie will be, cause that'll determine whether or not she has a child in the movie. Another concern is if Ruby will even make it to the end for all the theories to come true. That's one of the most important steps. As far as our thoughts go, we think Uhtred may come back because he now has a grandson to protect. Up next, what did Ruby Hartley have to say about her character? According to how season 5 was left off, she's very likely to return, even though the whole coast roster had not been made public. We're making a prediction and hopefully it'll be true. Ruby, while talking about the character she plays said that the main thing she loves about Siora is she's incredibly strong-willed and she's really feisty, and how it has persisted through her whole character arc. Because she was obviously much younger than she is now when we first encountered her in season 4, but there has been a consistent strong pattern. We also saw how she got kidnapped in season 4. She was in a situation where she could have been killed, but she still held her core beliefs. We think that's a really admirable trait. Let's learn more about when the movie will be released. The final chapter of Uhtred's epic saga will reveal, in the film, Seven Kings Must Die following the conclusion of The Last Kingdom on Netflix. After the BBC cancelled The Last Kingdom after two seasons, Netflix decided to take it on. Since The Last Kingdom was already available as a Netflix original outside of the UK, the streaming provider had previously been collaborating with the BBC on the program. Uhtred of Bebenberg's journey will come to a dramatic and epic end in this upcoming movie, which will be followed by three more magnificent seasons. We might not be able to see Seven Kings Must Die on Netflix in 2022, even though the film has been wrapping up. Seven Kings Must Die will be releasing sometime in 2023, but a precise release date
date has yet to be determined. Moving on to some other news, first up, will Finnan be absent from the movie? The Dane Slayer defends his native city of Bebenburg from foreign assaults in the movie Seven Kings Must Die. After the actor posted a picture on Instagram, one of his closest pals, Finnan, might not be making an appearance. On his final day of filming, actor Mark Rowley shared a picture of himself as Finnan on Instagram. The caption read, My last day acting as Finnan, six plus years playing this Irish warrior for more than six years has been a complete thrill. The actor took to Instagram and expressed his feelings, thanking TLK for the priceless memories, the enduring friendships, and some of the funniest experiences he's experienced so far in his journey. He also gave a shout out to his fellow actors. He also uploaded a video of himself talking about whether or not he could take his character in a fight. After the actor's emotional post, fans apparently assumed that he had put Finan's armor away. Although Mark is not yet confirmed whether Finan will appear in the movie, there are a variety of reasons why he might not. We met his new wife, Ingrith, in the last season. Until their enemy overran Runcorn, the duo had remained united there. Osforth, who gave life to save her, saved Ingrith after she was almost slain in an attack. After everything they had been through, Finan could want to begin a new, more leisurely life with his wife. Now that peace has been established, he may choose to grow his family. In the book, Finan survives up until the very last moment, but we've got to see what our directors have in store for this character. Moving on, the archaeology professor defended The Last Kingdom. The Last Kingdom on Netflix and Vikings on History both ended their successful runs in recent years, both shows focusing on the Viking era. High drama, magnificent battles, and realistic portrayals of life in the 9th century were all featured in each of the programs. Both were immensely entertaining, and although they also incorporated historical accuracy, both took many liberties with the truth. Since these are TV shows and not documentaries, we don't believe that the majority of the viewers watch these programs believing everything they see to be entirely accurate, and those who criticize The Last Kingdom and Vikings negatively because they don't fulfill all historical expectations might be kind of missing the point. Sren Michael Sinbach, an archaeological professor at Aarhus University in Denmark, says that it's alright that neither The Last kingdom, nor Vikings are fully true to history. When seen from an archaeological standpoint, he claimed they are not accurate. However, that's definitely not how you should be watching these shows. Additionally, watching historical dramas like The Last Kingdom or Vikings can always push viewers towards serious research on the time period, so you're learning something one way or another. Last but not least, Eliza Butterworth might not be in the movie. Every season of The Last Kingdom featured Eliza Butterworth as Aylesworth, the widow of King Alfred. Alfred and the mother of King Edward and Lady Alvathade. She's a reoccurring character on the show and had some excellent moments in Season 5. By the end of the episode, Aylesworth has evolved into a remarkably empathetic and entertaining character from the sternly devoted Christian who was determined to keep Uhtred's pagan influence away from her family in the beginning. Butterworth regrettably announced that she would not be appearing in Seven Kings Must Die. As a result, although Uhtred is still alive, Aylesworth seems to have passed away. The actress said that she's had a conflict with her schedule, which is why she won't be seen in the movie. That's a wrap for this video. Do you have any theories about the movie? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.